Okay folks, here we go. This is the final installment of the All Green Brewing. Uh, I'm running a little bit behind getting this video done, but we're going to pop up, pop open a bottle of this homemade uh, Vienna Blonde Ale and pour it and have a look. And these will have a little sediment on the bottom, so you're going to leave that behind. You don't want to pour that into the glass. Let's leave just, you know, a quarter of an inch or so in the bottle. And there's what we have. The light here is not real good. Uh, it's a nice, clear, uh, light-colored ale. So we're going to have a quick taste of that here. Oh yeah, it's good. I've had a couple of these already. I haven't really had too many of them, but this is a, a very light beer. It's uh, slightly dry. Like I said, it's a uh, summertime sort of beer, but it's one of the more popular beers I brew that my friends and uh, people that don't normally drink heavy beers like. They like this one quite a bit. This is a uh, about four. I think we figured out four and a quarter percent alcohol or so. Very light body, low alcohol. It's an all-day kind of beer. Like to, I like to call it a lawnmower beer. But this is the finished product of uh, my home brew. So it's slightly cloudy, but not too bad. It's kind of hard to tell out here. It's really nice and clear, but it uh. That goes into another process of getting beer clear. We'll talk about that if I ever do an advanced series on this. It's uh, a product of the cooling uh, process, being able to get it cool quickly, which I was unable to do when I brewed this beer in the hot weather. So that's the finished product. It's really good. I made 10 gallons of that. I've got probably 8 gallons of it left. Uh, so that's the end result of what we've done throughout this series so um, I've had a lot of comments on these videos people are interested in learning the process it's not that hard to do uh, it's easy to uh, start it's easier to start out using extracts instead of the mashing and all grain process but uh, Either way, they're not hard to do, and I appreciate the comments and feedback I've gotten on this video series, and uh, I hope you enjoy the final result. Too bad you can't taste it, so give homebrewing a try. Until next time, Man Cave Meals.